Hi Grant from Unity, it's Mike here, and I've had a great couple of days. On Saturday, I went to a record fair in Leeds and I picked up some really great stuff. But um, today, this morning, I met a punk legend, and uh, I'm an absolute fan of hers. And uh, it's this lady, Pauline Murray, of Penetration, Invisible Girls, and uh, this is her. This is her book. Um, it's called Life's a Gamble. Hang on. Penetration, the Invisible Girls, and other stories by Pauline Murray. And she was in uh, my local record store, uh, Jumbo Records, to do a book signing. And uh, there you go, to Mike with love, Pauline. And uh, I've had a quick look at this book, and it's it's absolutely it looks absolutely brilliant. The illustrations in it are. Uh, are absolutely brilliant, so I'm really looking forward to reading that. But uh, before I show you some pictures from, from here, I'd just like to say that she's an absolutely lovely person. You know, she really, really took her time, and uh, everyone that uh, came up with a book to sign, you know, she she gave them, you know, gave everybody five, five ten minutes, you know, and to, to have a real chat, and... Uh, you know, I mean, back in the day, uh, Pauline was one of the people that provided soundtrack to my life. From about 1977 to 82, you know, the golden years of uh, British punk rock. And uh, she she was there. She was at the forefront along with, um, you know, lots of the other bands. And uh, I saw her a couple of times. Uh, I saw, saw her with uh, the Invisible Girls uh, once, I think. And... Uh, and I saw Penetration uh, once as well, but both times in Leeds. I think there were both both times it was at Leeds uh, Polytechnic, and uh, you know she was she was absolutely brilliant. Anyway, anyway, this, as I say, you know this book it's sort of out today, and and, and Pauline uh, before Penetration, uh, she she followed the Sex Pistols. So in the same way as uh, Susie Sue, down in the south of England, was part of the Bromley contingent. Uh, Pauline Murray and uh, her gang were dubbed uh, by NME, the Durham contingent. And uh, there's a picture in, uh, in the book. There you go. This is a, a Sex Pistols gig, and it's at Leeds Polytechnic in uh, 1976, December 1976. And, and there's Pauline. There she is, just there. And... Uh, what, what, I, what strikes me about this uh, photograph is that uh, most of the audience, they don't really look very punk, do they? But I suppose, you know, it, it took a little while for the, uh, the great British public to, uh, to catch on to the punk sort of ethos. But, uh, but as I say, you know, Pauline was there and uh, absolutely brilliant. And there's just something else I'd like to show you in this book as well. And uh, it's a poll from... Uh, fanzine from 1978 uh, called Zigzag and it's got some sort of top tens in here and you've got uh, unknown stroke unsigned, unsigned bands you know top ten and the names you've got Susie and the Banshees at number one The Slits, The Fool, Doll by Doll, Pop Group, Subway Sect, Stiff Little Fingers, The Ants, the Resilos, and then creeping in at number 10, Penetration. And uh, there's also their hot tip for the top. And uh, Susie and the Bank Cheese are at number one, and Penetration are at number two. You've also got The Only Ones, Group Home Sport TV, The Lurkers, Flaming Groovies, Alternative TV, Slips Again, uh, Resilos, Boss Cops, Stiff Little Fingers, Magazine. You know, I mean, this was an absolutely brilliant time to be listening to music. I mean, those bands, I mean, they're all absolute legends as far as I'm concerned. But uh, there you go. This is, you know, this I'd, I'd recommend you get this book, even though I haven't started reading it yet. But, you know, just for the just for the illustrations. And uh, as I say, you know, Pauline was absolutely lovely. And, uh, you know, she gave her time. She said there's a little bit of pressure when you do book signings especially when you put pen to paper and you just hope that you don't mess up the front page of somebody's uh, newly acquired book. But uh, 
there you go. That's uh, that, that's Pauline Murray, and I've had an absolutely brilliant morning. Right, so on to um, the record fair on Saturday, and uh, I put quite a lot of uh, a lot of punk post punk, starting with these guys, the Anti Nowhere League, and this is uh, We Are the League, and uh, it's their debut album. And it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I had this on CD. Um, ne never actually owned it on uh, on vinyl before. This is this is a reissue from 1985, I believe. The, the original album came out in 1982. So you've got you know all the band are there. You've got Animal on vocals. Uh, then there's Winston plays the bass. Uh, PJ on the drums and Magoo on the guitar. And uh, you know, the tracks are just brilliant, you know. There's We Are The League, their, their anthem, so to speak. There's Animal, Woman, Can't Stand Rock and Roll, We Will Not Remember You, Snowman. Then the brilliant rendition of uh, Ralph McTell's Streets of London. I mean, this was made to be a punk song. You know, it re it's really great. Then there's I Hate People, uh, Reckon Omer, uh, World War Three, Nowhere Man, not the Beatles, their song, and uh, Let's Break the Law. And there you go, that's uh, the Anti Nowhere League, and I love them. Uh, next one I picked up is, uh, is a compilation, and uh, it's from the Liverpool band War, and it's uh, called The Way We Were. And uh, this, this is the band that Pete Wiley formed. Now, Pete's got a bit, a bit of, bit of form as far as uh, you know, people that he's collaborated with uh, uh, in his day. In fact, he started out in the 1970s, and uh, he was in a band called uh, the Crucial Three. And the other two in the Crucial Three were uh, Ian McCulloch of Echo and the Bunny Man and um, Julian Cope of Teardrop Explodes. And this is this is a really nice compilation. I didn't have anything by Wild before. Um, so you've got other boys, some say the seven thousand names of war, seven minutes to midnight, the death of war, and then the one that probably everyone's heard of, the story of the blues parts one and two, uh, sleep, a lullaby for Josie, you can't beat your arms around the memory, hope. And uh, remember, and it's a really, really nice compilation, so I'm really pleased to pick this up. Now, whenever I see Susan Nabanchi's records at a reasonable price, I'll pick them up. And this is uh, Hyena, and uh, it's actually the seventh album from 1984. So, tracks on here are Dazzle. We Hunger, Belladonna, uh, Swimming Horses, which I think was a single from uh, this album. Uh, what else? Um, Bring Me the Heads of the Preacher Man, Running Town, uh, Point in Bone, and uh, Blow the House Down. So that's a 1984 album from Susie Navanchis, and uh, it's Hyena. And another band I've been buying quite a lot of recently are Wire and uh, Olive Wire. This is their second album. It's from 1978. Uh, this is uh, a reissue from uh, 2018 and it's on the Pink Flag label. And uh, as with uh, all of uh, all of Wire's uh, Records. There's plenty of tracks on there. You know, usually if, if a track goes over two minutes, you wonder what's happening. But I think it's 15 or 16 tracks on, on this album. It's, it's really, really, really great. Practice makes perfect. Uh, French film blurred. Another the letter. Men second. Marooned. Sound in my joints. Being sucked in again. Heartbeat. Mercy. Outdoor minor. I am the fly. I feel mysterious today from the nursery. Used to, too late. 
And, you know, what, what are, I think, one of those bands that, uh, you know, back in, back in the heyday of punk, I don't think they got the, the due recognition that they deserved because, you know, they are one of the, uh, you know, one of the legendary British punk bands. So there you go. That's, uh, that's why. And uh, chairs missing. And next up, this is an album that uh, I know Eric Mike loves. Yeah, it's crass. It's penis envy. Um, this is a, a quite recent reissue. I'm not really sure what date it is, but uh, this was their second album that was originally released in uh, 1981. And uh, I, I, love the, um, I love the names of the, of the band members on uh, in Cross. You know, you've got Eve Libertine, uh, Joy Devine, uh, Phil Frey, Penny Rambo, B.A. Nana, and uh, Pete Wright. Yeah, I don't know why you couldn't think of a, a nom de plume, but uh, there you go. Uh, a person who's not actually on this album uh, is Steve Ignorant. Uh, I think he's probably off to, doing something else at the time. But the, the cover of the album is actually a poster. And uh, if I can, I'll, uh, I'll show you. So it's, uh, it opens uh, right out and, and there you have, uh, you have lyrics and, uh, and the sort of uh, back and front of the album cover there. And then, on the other side, it's uh, a lovely giant poster of, of Krauss. So I was really, really, really pleased to get that. Um, I was a bit, I was a bit slow sort of coming to Krauss actually. Um, you know, I think, I think back in the day they might have passed me by a little bit, and uh, I don't know why. Because they're absolutely brilliant. So uh, there you go. That's the, uh, that's the label. It says that it's been remastered to uh, to be as close to the original release as possible. So uh, there you go. And it's 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 a lovely album. So I can say I'm really pleased to have that in my collection. And um, and thanks to Beric for Mike for actually reminding me about Cross. Now and finally, um, a band that uh, another Mike likes, and this is uh, it's the Comsat Angels. This is their uh, debut album from 1980 and it's called Waiting for a Miracle and uh, Mike PC31 the vinyl policeman really loves the concert angels and again they were a band that uh, that really at the time I didn't give I didn't give enough attention to um, I think this is a pretty good album the guys are from uh, uh, the Doncaster Sheffield area of South Yorkshire so really, I should have picked up on them, and uh, it's a, it's a pretty good album. Um, they, the the tracks I like best on this are probably uh, the the opener, which is uh, missing in action, and then on side two, uh, there's monkey pilot. Also, it, it closes quite well as well. Map of the world and postcard, I, I think, are two two good tracks, but. You know, there you go, Comsat Angels. I don't think they'll ever be my favourite post-punk band, but I'm glad I got this, and I'll probably be getting some more Comsat Angels uh, uh, as and when I see it. So uh, there you go. So as I say, I've, I've had a lovely weekend uh, record fair, followed by sort of meeting Pauline at Jumbo Records this morning. And uh, so there you go. So until next time, bye.